Oh, hello there, it's Proko here again, playing some more Minecraft Survival on the Stoneblock 2 mod pack. Been doing some bits and pieces while, while I was off camera, as you can see, we've got a storage system in place. Not quite finished with it, it's not, need to make it bigger, so I think it might go along the back here, but the bulk of it's in, as you can see, we've nice and full on some stuff. I have been grinding away off camera, getting some seven done, getting some mobs killed, things like that. Just basically getting stuff on the go so that we can get automating some things. Now, I was going to work on doing some auto seven, but I'm going to wait because if we take a look through. Oh, that's the wall. Uh, if we go through here, as you can see, the mob farm that we built, which has been has been working away. There's uh, some stuff in here. But as you can see, it's looking a bit worse for wear. Um, creepers and things like that can see us. Uh, it's just not quite working. So what I think I'm going to do. As well. I'm going to light this up just to stop things spawning just now. I think I'm going to focus my attention on automating this thing first. So I've been looking through. Go dump this stuff. I have been looking through what my options are for this, and I think the easiest thing is going to be spikes. And I was looking through what ones, so there's the diamond ones that give you the player only kill items, so loot crates and things like that. But that's quite expensive, that's a lot of diamonds. You should get three there, a block of it, and some swords. But then I noticed these ones. To get two of, for three diamonds. So I think we're going to do that. Iron's not really a problem. We've got tons of that here, as you can see. Nearly 400. Yeah, nearly 400 ingots there. So we'll take a few of those. And I'm mean, grinding away, getting some diamonds on the go as well. So if we craft that up, there we go. Let's stick them back in the system. Oh. <laughs> no need to excuse me, I think I'm coming down with a cold here, but we'll keep going, we'll keep going, that's not going to stop us. Uh, we need some stone. Uh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? And we need a couple of levers, because these are redstone powered, which I will show you in a minute. Oops. So, the other thing we were going to need is something to push the mobs onto them. So I also was looking at these fans, which are relatively easy to do. Some stone, some iron, and some repeaters. So I should have stone in one of these two. Stone, there it's there. And redstone. And I'll take a stack of iron as well. So I need to make up two of these. So we need to make a torch of these. Sticks. Sticks. Now obviously it's going to take a wee bit longer. I will eventually get into the ME storage solutions and stuff like that. But I'm just not far enough into it yet, so to do that, and that should be us actually. Yep, there we go. Two of them. Actually, that reminds me, I need more. It's not that, it's going to stop. Right, so let's go oh, and I will grab this right on here. I'll show you that in a minute. That's just basically pick up my loot. Got 
I'm watching Barkley. So what I'm going to do is chop out this. I think uh, I'm going to go back another one just to give me some manoeuvring space in here. Because what I want to do is probably put the fans not that way around. I want to take that out as well. So what I want to do is I have a fan here, like so. I think I'll bring some stone with me to fill these gaps in as I go, rather than leaving it stay. Do I have slabs? No. Right, so let's get these fans set up or the spikes here. So put the spikes down this end somewhere. So chop a bit more out here. need to be powered so if we jump underneath I'm hoping that can power them from below nope so we have to be powered from the side yeah there we go so basically with these when they're not powered, they are perfectly safe. And when they're powered, ow. Must be a better way of doing that. But anyway, and so that's that done. Now, to collect the loot, I found this item collector, which is awesome. It works really well. I'm going to stick it in the wall there just now. And what this has is a... I was on. And I can see the area that it's working in. But the area is huge. It goes up to... What, 19 by 19 did that say? Yeah. It's a huge area. I think we'll just set it up. It doesn't need to be huge, 5x5 five five should do the job nicely. We'll block that back in again. There's a small point. I can I move that back one actually? That's what we'll do, we'll move that into there. Just like that there. Just to stop them. And just kind of filling it in to make sure nothing gets out. There we go. I mean, realistically, it doesn't even need to be open once we get this filled in, but it would be cool to see them. Oops. Right, so all these fans. So if you go up to it, right click on it, you've got a few different things. So we can have them on, always on. I'm going to have them at redstone just so I can turn them off. Uh, if you see it, so I want it to push. And... Oh, I forgot to turn them on. So with the preview on you can see you get the sort of puffy smoke signals and that lets you see how far it's going. So it's not quite long enough so you need to add maybe what two more blocks to it. 
These are cool because they've also got a speed option. So if we do 18 and run back down. Yep, perfect. Yep, I don't know. I just love those spikes going up and down. So we want now up to that and 18. There we go. And we can turn the preview off on that. That should be that perfect. And we'll put that spike up and knock these out. Probably be able to see them go flying. Yep. So they should end up in the item collector down the bottom. And we'll start that off. Might be like that space after all. Slab that. And that. So nice and red out there. This bit's not. Why is this bit not? Oh, that torch. And make it run on the other side as well. and spawning outside as best we can. And should get away with that there. We'll try it and see. I may need to move it to here. We'll try it, we'll see. So we'll get away from it and give it a chance to get working and we're gonna have a look in this box that I have going on here. And put that in there. So I've been busy working it away, making some stuff. Um, so I have been playing about to get some stuff underway to get, you know, I want to do the auto seven. So that means we need some a cobblestone generator to do that. And I was looking, there's an auto hammer. So take the cobblestone, turn it into the gravel which we can sieve, which is great. I mean this thing's brilliant. Only issue, this is quite slow and it spits everywhere when it goes, so that's why the item collector is up there. While I was looking, I found this. The auto sieve. Which is even better. So if we plunk these down, you can see them. So, oh hammer, pretty self-explanatory, let me grab uh, some of that, and I will need a generator just to power this just now, so we'll start to get a furnace generator down, uh, not there. And yep, as you'll see, I've uh, got an upgrade for it with, to do with these, but we'll do with that in a minute. Uh, have we got any coal? Oh, I've got charcoal. So, just that that in there, that'll turn on, that'll power this thing up. So, all of them, pretty self explanatory, runs through, crushes that down into gravel, and spits it out into the cemetery there. Perfect. Flush around just so that it gets power. Auto save, same thing, but we can put meshes into here. And if we take the gravel out, that's good power. Cool. We can stick the gravel in here, and it will serve it into its inventory here. Now, I'm not convinced whether it's faster or not right now than having a full setup of these going. But look how compact it is. I mean, that's it. Obviously, the generator doesn't technically need to be there. I could put it somewhere else, which I probably will because I have a central power system to power all the machines. But yeah, I mean, there we go. Done already. This thing's chunking away as well. I'm gonna just kill it so I'm not wasting fuel. But yeah, I think I'm going to use this to replace this because obviously this thing takes up a huge amount of space because it's got a 
have like water field behind it. Well, as you can see. So I think what I'm going to just go and do is tear that out just now and set this up in there. And then I will be back in a minute. Didn't mean to push that button. I meant to push. Where's my oh, where's my pick? Where's that? I'm going to set this up here, and I'll be back in a minute. So, welcome back, guys. I have changed my mind. I had a nice sort of hole here from where the water wheels were. So I have decided to put the seven system in place, to put the seven system in the wall there, because if we run around here, it goes directly into the back of the storage system. So I can feed it straight into that and not have to worry about collecting the stuff. So what I'm thinking is I want to have, I think I have the sieve here and the auto hammer here. And that means I can put the cobblestone generator on there. But I'm going to need to power this for now, so I think I might just slot that up into the ceiling there. That's temporary just now. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is having another area for power for the base and running a main cable system around to power everything. So I have also been playing with some of these things. So what we need to do is one, we need to get um, items out of that into there. So we can put, uh, what are these called, item conduits. So how do you need an item conduit? And it is that one there. So these are made, uh, item conduits, you make eight of them. So the pulsating iron, which you need to make in, um, how did that make it? Induction smelter, so it's just iron and ender pills, make sure that, and then you can make it into the nuggets. Um, conduit binder is quite easy, it's just gravel, clay and sand, mix that up and then you smelt it down, you can bind them together and you get that, but I found these are better than using the transfer pipe with the nodes on it for the items, it just seems to be quicker, plus it lets you play about with it a bit more, so if we turn that to full exactly, that will start filling that up. Oh, no, plus it's got arrows on it, which is very handy. And that should start filling that one up, yep. Um, if we put another one there, and we'll set that one to insert. Always active. There we go, so that should, once I power it up, then if I just dig around it just then. And then we can, uh, that's a really bad place for the generator actually. Put the generator there. Oops, there. I don't need those ones. No, I don't need the fluid ones. I kind of made them all just to play with them. But what I can do is that. And then put an energy transfer node on that. And that will power them. Let's make it out of here. Put some charcoal, take a stack of that, put it in the generator just now. Stick it in there, alright, that'll power that. Yep, there we go, powered. So that should, oh, no mesh in it, need to, need to remember and put the mesh in it or it doesn't work. So that should be cranking away. I will speed it up by putting some put some diamond hammers in it, makes it a bit quicker. And yep, yeah, there we go. So what we can now do is if we go back in here, we can just run 
şimdi kırmam diyor. Şöyle açıyor. Ups. Diamond Tales. Here we go. Oh, back to that. I'm going to set my arms up. And put that onto insert. And that should start emptying. Yep, oh, see, done already. It's emptied itself. And that should just be now automatically serving gravel straight through into the system. All I need to do is remember and come in and fill that up. I might actually make that bit. Mm, yeah, I'll leave it just now. Let me light me that. Nah, be fine. Um, I was just actually cooking some more stones. So just fill that back in. Can I get to that from here? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, fill this bit back in. can make covers up for them. We need to have a look at that, see if we can make up some of the covers to go over them. But yeah, basically that's it. That's us auto seven straight away. Doesn't look too bad. Maybe shave that back. Just make it a wee bit neater. But yeah, there we go. Um one farm. I wonder how that's doing. I haven't seen anything from the page, that's keeping me there. Oh, there's an XP, it's probably got it. Look great! That one can stay because we all know what's in that. Uh, Alright, cow bait, wheat, cool. I really want to get into some farming things. I wonder why nothing spawned. Have I got this bit loaded? Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Well, wait and see. Hopefully we'll get some spawns up in there. Now, uh, chuck all that back in there just now. Not that. Uh, that, there's an induction smelter that I was using. I'll show you that quickly. It's quite a simple thing. Um, but when you open it, that's for the charge when it's less, to make the pulsating amp you need to click on the, to unlock the flux slot, just so you can get into the two bits, and then uh, it should automatically be set to ignore, I haven't got any upgrades, so you can do it loads of, you can use this for automation, so we will be at some point putting it into the the system as well, just to make it work a bit better. I've been playing about with, with watermelon and stuff like that, but we're too far too early to need that right now, so not going. My math generator is I'm planning to use these to power everything around the base. So what you can do is obviously we have cobblestone generators that can automatically generate lava and then where did I put them? So Fluid nodes along with the transfer pipe mean that if I slap a pipe there and stick a couple of fluid nodes on here and here, and you can see it's lit up already. Lava goes in, RF comes out. Basically cheap free free power basically. Um and then you can see these go down kinda of quick, so I do need to or have a few of them running into maybe a few of these. I am thinking I made some elevators which are really cool. Oof. Blah. Eat up. Eat up. There we go. Infinity booster card. Oh, that's for the a crafting and stuff for the wireless thing, but yeah, I'm thinking about down here is going to be where my power room is going to be. It's literally if we jump back up, it's pretty much. I think it's three below. Yeah, there it's there. So what I'm thinking is there's going to be a floor here. This layer here is going to be where the piping networks are going to be 
for our power, fluids, items, whatever, and then that gives us space to have a ceiling and hide it all below it. Um, means that we have a full network of, you know, we go into a room, we want to put something down, boom, no sort of cable, connect it up, and then hide it again. There's no worrying about it, basically. Um, yeah, yep, I think that's a good thing. So this is the kind of setup I've got going right now. What are we doing? I shouldn't have put that one. That is producing power. Though. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get lava to generate so I can put it under and replace these torches just to get it going quicker. But really, all I've got done is I've carved out a conduit up there. So I've got coals I'm generating feeding two crucibles just now, and one of them is feeding one furnace. I'm hoping to put in some more just to have crucibles uh, going round this thing that will all feed into a sort of line of furnaces on the back to provide us some starting power for things. Um, so what I'll do is I need this to come down from there. Run across there and have I got power one? Yes I do. Oops. Power one on there. And then I'll jump back up the top, and I should be able to find that in the trench here. There it's there. And I'll just continue that on along here into these machines. Trying not to jump down because then I don't want to dig too much of this out. Never mind. And we'll pop that into there. Plug up any holes that are left while I'm down here. And repair that from the top. Yeah, well. Pushing all the wrong buttons today. And in theory, I should be able to just go around and chop that from the system out now. And he should be getting power. Yeah. Just it will pick up once the lava gets going a bit better. That's a lot neater already. I do need to replace the cobblestone generator that was in there as well. I need to for downstairs just now. That's easy made, we can make another one of them in a minute. So here's this dude, nearly there, nearly there. Get this to then that one, and knock that torch out. Take a bucket of lava and throw it under there. And knock that in there. Perfect, perfect. That should help that keep up a bit better now. Because that'll be getting, yeah, three times where I should use the one time. So let's over that. Perfect. Yeah, we can just have a row of them along there with uh, some crucibles round about them. Maybe even sink them into the wall there. And that'll provide some power for our base. Which will be perfect, that will work really well. 
That's going to take a while, but I will put another lab up underneath that and I will make another one of them for upstairs so I've got something going on the go all the time. Yeah, that works really well. Works really well. So let's go and check this out. Another look at it. What did we get? Oh, man in a ball and potatoes. Cool. Right, let's dump this stuff into our system. There we go. The food can go in there along with that stuff. One of them. And my building materials can go in as well. So anything else left? So I made up the tinker stuff, but I haven't had the chance to play about with that yet. Mainly just so I can tick off some quests and see what I get. And so we'll do that now. So, as you can see, I've been doing some fair amount of bits and pieces, so we'll just go along and clean them, all the software, not that great. Capacitors, mechanical crafters, hoppers, mm -hmm. nothing amazing yet, not that great. No, more capacitors, got this from the minor dimension. Oh, that'll be handy once we get to that. That'll be very handy. Yeah, cool. We will do that next time. I think that's going to do it for today, guys. That's probably been enough me talking and doing things and messing things about. So, um, remember, if you're enjoying this series, please drop a like. If, if you've got any comments and ideas for me, please let me know down below. And if you're really enjoying my content, why not consider subscribe? So there I click. It helps me out a lot. Will be a new uh, Bedrock episode out on Tuesday as well. Not exactly sure what's going to be on it yet. I haven't recorded it. But do look out for it. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.